Greetings everybody. Uh, today we thought we'd do a video to show you how to test gold and silver coins and I'm going to show you five tests that you can do to test items. So starting out, number one, rare earth magnet. So gold or silver does not stick to a rare earth magnet. We'll put a magnet on the bars and the coins. And then the next test we got here is a Sigma Metalytics. So what we have here are some of the most common items that we purchase that, uh, that comes into us in the store. Uh, so I have gold eagles here and a one ounce gold bar. So what I'll do is I'll put them right here on the Sigma Metalytics tester. And so we'll put a gold bar. So this gold bar is a triple nine fine gold. So I'll put the bar right on the tester and it shows up right between these bars here. If it shows up over here, then that just means that this bar is a little bit more pure. You want to get a read on this verifier. If you don't get a read, then that's something that uh, you be very skeptical of. Okay, and then on one ounce gold eagles, which is nice, the, the Sigma of a Lex tester actually has um, a place right for the gold eagles, so just put the eagle right on there and see if I didn't place it right on there, right? So place it right in the middle. We're good. And then we got, we'll go to silver here. We'll start out with the silver eagle. Put it right on. There's not a place for the silver eagle. Uh, silver eagle like there's a gold eagle. So place it. We're good. Put a round on there. We're good. And I got a buffalo around here. Not getting a read. Not a good sign. Got a one ounce silver bar on here. Doesn't get a read. Not a good sign. So I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, so... We had a few items that didn't test on the Sigma Meta Lex tester. Uh, so let's get a weight on those. So this will be the third test which we're going to win. So we'll just put this one on here. This one didn't test. Um, this is penny weights here. There's 20 penny weights to one trounce of gold or silver. And then we'll go to grams. So grams will be 31.1 grams. So there's 20 penny weights or 31.1 grams to one trounce of gold or silver. And we got 31.8, so that's not a good sign. So let's put that one aside. Let's get around here. We got 25.9 grams, so obviously not a good sign on that. And I got another one. Let's see if we tear it out, get the same weight. 31 point. Try a gold eagle. This should be 34 grams. Even. 34 grams, we're good. Okay, this is the fourth test. We're gonna do a ring test. So um, we're gonna start out the silver eagles. So what you wanna do is take an eagle, hold it up, and just Slightly ping it on the other one. See how you get a distinct ring. So if it's not silver, you'll get like a thud sound, even with gold. So just a nice ring, and then here we'll do gold eagles. And then I'll do some silver rounds. So, and then here are the ones that did not uh, get a read. So we'll actually take a couple bars together. See how we just get a thud sound. We're not getting that nice ring. So that's where I was really questionable on these three right here and obviously didn't pass the Sigma. So I'll show you what we do for the last test. Okay, so what I'll do, this is the last test, put nitric acid on the actual coin. I'm just gonna put it right on the coin. So what I'll do is I'll just put it right in the middle and this is just 14 karat acid. This isn't going to um, destroy the item of 14. So you usually want to use like 18 or 22 karat acid. Just use a higher karat acid. So what I'm looking for is exactly what just happened here. Uh, you don't want to get a nice green bubble color. It turns green bubble like this and this means that obviously this is not real. If it is real, it's just going to have a creamy white. So this is how, see how this is a creamy white here? Well, I want to put... Uh, a little bit higher carrot acid here and you're going to see a difference see how this is starting to react here and see how this is green bubble color so there's a lot more um, metal and alloy here that something on the inside is obviously um, completely plated here usually copper with silver alright so I'm going to show you guys this is a real one um, I'm going to go ahead and put acid acid on this one just to show you for display purposes. See how this is completely fine. Get no reaction 
and just stays a creamy white. Okay, so those are the five tests that we do uh, when people bring in products. So I just thought uh, hopefully this will give you comfort in knowing that everything that uh, you're purchasing, you can have a good peace of mind to know that it's real. There is one important thing that I wanted to uh, show you was we had some fake Pam Swiss bars uh, come in mid-April. There was 17 fake gold bars between Pam Swiss and Perth Mint. And um, one thing with a magnet that we found on some of the fake Pam Swiss, if you put a magnet right here in the middle, they'll react a little bit. You'll get a little bit of pull. So if you just went like this on a magnet, you wouldn't get a magnetic pull. So you definitely want to put it just right there. Just touch it right in the middle. So thanks for watching and hope this video uh, was beneficial and helped you. Thank you.